in the food queues of Hanoi, they are no longer so strict about social distancing. Contact tracing has led to a relaxation in the rules. Those standing in line for their portion of rice can be confident they won't get the virus. These so-called food ATMs are part of a pandemic plan the Vietnamese government rolled out as soon as China confirmed the first cluster of COVID cases. While other countries in the region debated and dithered about lockdowns, Vietnam shut its borders and introduced a system to find anyone potentially infected. Contact tracing is uh, critical. People, uh, they develop symptoms before they trans transmit uh, this virus to others. In these terms, Vietnam system to trace con close contact was very effective and then very fast. The bustling, congested streets and markets here would be an ideal breeding ground for the virus. But with a weak healthcare system and developing economy, the government made sure it had a strategy to deal with a potential pandemic. The SARS outbreak in 2002 prompted investment in measures to protect people and train for a health emergency. Initially, contact tracing was done by teams of community trackers, but an app was quickly developed to trace not only primary contacts, but secondary, third and fourth level too. We have a calculation uh, about the 60% of total uh, population installed that app. Uh, it's going to help protect uh, all the community because every contact uh, will be recorded into the data of the community. With the country claiming to have had fewer than 300 confirmed cases and no reported deaths, it appears the preparations have paid off. Life can be enjoyed again, but this kind of freedom is no longer taken for granted. Nói chung là cái biện pháp của chính phủ mình thì tốt cho nên là nước mình cái số người sát Trung Quốc nhưng mà số người lây nhiễm rất ít có hơn 200 người nhưng mà chưa có người nào tử vong. Vietnam was ready for this outbreak and that appears to have saved the country from the terrible fate of others. Debbie Edward, News at 10.